Hey guys, it's Spencer here. Today we're going to be talking about a stone called Hemimorphite. This is Hemimorphite. This is a polished piece. It's an amazing, amazing bright blue color. Um, there's only a few stones in the world that have this color. Um, one of them is Hemimorphite, and then another is Smithsonite, which is rare, and that color in Smithsonite is even more rare than the stone itself. Um, and then another is called Pariba Tourmaline. This is an example of a piece of Pariba Tourmaline. It's an exquisite color, has a great clarity and a great energy. So what this stone does, it has two main energies that it works on you with. Um, the first is that of, I call it the stone of everlasting peace. It's the stone of everlasting peace because it is the color and energy of our peace chakra, it's called. The peace chakra is also known as the high heart chakra. It lies in between the heart chakra and your throat chakra. Your heart chakra is your emotional body. It is your emotional connection to the divine. Your throat chakra is the way that you enable the world with your energies. It's the way that you work. It's the way that you do things with your voice and, the, and your mannerisms. Your throat chakra is your expression into the physical world. Okay, so when you combine the energies of these two and go in between them with a the color that's in between them, what happens is you get a divine um, level of maturity with the chakra. It doesn't weaken. This chakra cannot be wounded. Your heart chakra can be wounded. Your heart chakra can be weak. But your high heart chakra is ultimately connected to the divine heart. That's what it stands for, the high heart chakra. It is your heavenly heart. So when you have a stone that works with this chakra, um, what it does is it gives you a level of self-mastery. It, this stone, its second major function is that it relieves you of your battle between your ego and your spirit because we want material things and we want to look a certain way and act a certain way and be this popular. But at the same time, we have our spiritual side and our, our good angel on our shoulder that's making us want to go the other direction and, you know, rid ourselves of these limitations. This stone will break that barrier. It allows your ego to sit in the back and it allows your spirit to come forward and really advance itself so this stone is a stone of self-mastery it's a stone of self-awareness it brings your ego away it takes your ego away and brings your spirit out um, the third eye chakra is associated with this stone as well for a couple of different reasons. It brings a vision of unity consciousness and Christ consciousness. It brings you a level of um, peaceful thinking. It brings peace to your dreams. It uh, calms your nerves. It's good for um, relieving negative thought forms if you are a, just a natural pessimist. This is a good stone for you if you're a pessimist. Um, it may bring you... Um, I don't know, epiphanies. I've had experiences where I've had really great epiphanies in meditations with Hemimorphite. Epiphanies about my spirituality and my personal life. So this stone works on all levels. It's divine, but it's connected to the material world through its associations with the throat chakra. Okay, so the energies of the high heart, the throat chakra, the heart chakra, and the third eye chakra, these are your upper energies. This stone is rising. This stone is lifting you up. It's really, you know, something that's going to raise the bar in terms of your own spiritual knowledge and what you seek to know and what you think you know. This stone, I also like to say, this is one of those situations where you are going to be shown that no matter how much you think you know, you never really know as much as you, as you think. Um, this stone allows you to find your weaknesses and your strengths and evaluate them and work with them or against them if you need to in order to um, relieve your stress emotionally and psychologically, relieve your um, grievances that you have with yourself. This stone allows you to work with your own emotional body on a higher and lower way. It weakens the blow of um, bad emotional reactions too. Like if you were to carry this stone when you went to a hospital because you got a bad call from someone about a family member, um, what you could do is you could pray with this stone and it'll, it'll give you a sense of hope. This stone, I've done that before with certain situations that I've had in my life. It works tremendously. This stone will give you a feeling like you're being elated by the gods. It makes you feel happy. It makes you feel lit. It makes you feel wise. This stone is good for anyone who's on a spiritual journey. Um, 
And because it's associated with the high heart, again, it will heal old wounds, old wounds that have been maybe um, scarred over many times. This stone will get very, very deep. So if you're a healer or a light worker, you can use this stone on clients or friends or family to um, bring about past issues that they have forgotten about that still are issues for their emotional self. Okay, this stone gives you hope in your hour of need. It weakens the blow for emotional reactions. It's the stone of self mastery. It's the stone that relieves you of your ego. But what's most important is that um, it allows us to see people and ourselves for who they are, which again comes into the ego mind personality thing. So this stone is really amazing. It gives a lot of clarity and a lot of love. And I think that everyone should have this stone because it allows you to connect with your own personal divine. You don't need to um, go to a priest or go to anyone else when you have hemimorphite or a couple other stones that allow you to connect with this energy. Hemimorphite is a stone that I hold very close to my heart, high heart. Um, it's, it's really important that people understand the ways that the energy can transform your own spirituality, even if you think that you are on a good spiritual path, because this stone will allow you to reevaluate yourself many, many times over. You never get sick of it. You never, you never don't find a new lesson from it. So hemimorphite is a wonderful stone. I suggest everyone goes and gets some. So have a beautiful day. Thank you for watching this video. Hemimorphite blessings.